Hello guys and you're welcome back. In our last lesson, we created a plastic class. We created the uh, initial constructor. Let me just go ahead and fix this. A typographical error. We created the default constructor and assigned values of our variables to the constructor such that when we create an object like this instance, it is going to look at the constructor and pass in those values, those parameters like it did here. And also we created an str method so that each time we call our instance, our instance knows what to display. Now, uh, like the last time I said we didn't include temperature, we just included these parameters to display. So even though this is correct, the str method is going only going to show you what you told it to display which is a good thing about uh, using the str method so now that we've created the str method and we've created the instance let's go ahead and create another uh, method called the uh, check temperature right or oh, let's create a buy method let's say for instance we want to buy this uh, bottle so let's just go ahead and see how we can implement that so this is a, an action Right. So let me just uh, put the tab. So I'm going to say def bui and I'm going to pass it in self. And then we'll begin our code logic. So what I want to do right now is to enable the user to type in the uh, number of bottles he wants to buy and then uh, calculate the cost also and then return the cost by the amount of bottles you've bought. Right. So it's going to do a little uh, calculation and just multiply the cost by the price. So initially we've set this price, so we're going to be using this price right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to say self dot bottle underscore number is going to be equal to an int input. I'm going to say enter number of bottles to buy All right so let's say you want to buy a couple of bottles it's going to prompt you to enter that and let's uh, add the closing uh, brace like that so the next thing i want to also do is to add the self.cost and i'm going to set the self.cost to a float because it's more accurate to use a float so i'm going to say self.cost multiply by the self dot whoops self dot price just like that so we're going to get the self dot cost and i'm going to multiply that by the self dot uh, price to get the variable of the price since uh, python knows this is a class instance i'll just show you how to do that when we want to return so this time around we want to return the output and our results. So let me show you how you can do that. So first we're going to say return and you don't have to put this in curly braces. In parentheses, I like putting it in parentheses. So let's just say self. So let's say self dot bottle underscore number. Right. And then we're going to say bottles. bottle or bottles so that's why i'm just put that as it could be a single unit so let's say costs all right cost or costs this is just for martin by the way i'm going to put the dollar sign and then i'm going to pass in the self dot cost so i'm just going to see the bottle number like if the input the value we input it here let's say we put 12 bottles so we're going to say 12 bottles cost and then it's going to get the self dot cost right here which is going to be the calculation of the cost multiplied by the price so this is just a way of displaying the uh, text i'm going to say at then a dollar sign then i'm going to bring out the variable the plastic plastic dot price the reason why i'm doing this plastic dot price directly without using the self because this is a class variable price is a class attribute so you can have direct access to the attribute i can just say plastic dot price i can even say plastic dot price equals let's say 2.44 just to set it uh, set a new price for the plastic but if i don't want to do that it's going to pick this 1.34 and do that so at plastic dot price per unit so it's going to do that calculation for us so let's just go ahead and save it
So now let's just check to see if everything is okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to return that uh, value. So to see the price, right? To see that price, I'm just going to call the name of the instance and buy. So let's just say, uh, let's just go ahead and type this and just say, uh, let's say buying bottles like that. So I'm just gonna, since I've created this instance, I'm just going to say inst print inst zero one dot b ui. I'm going to pass in the buy method and close this and let's see that. So it said enter number of bottles to buy. I just want to buy 12 bottles and it said 12 bottles cost $30 at $1.34 per unit. So this is what it's uh, giving us and it's displaying that output because we actually told it to return this output in this uh, method. So uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, short lesson. Let's just go ahead and make this a bit cleaner by creating a space in between. So in our next uh, clip, we're going to create a uh, check temperature method that is going to check to see if the plastic bottle manufacturer is exceeding the design temperature for the bottles. So we will get to use this uh, self.temp that we created. So see you in the next lesson.